standing. And we have the cabins to do. And the shit for the cabins is on the other side of the conveyor and we're going to use a different truck. Um, so I want to just pull this thing ahead and make sure it's not stuck on the pole. See, it's getting... It's rubbing on the pole. Whoops. See, I'm trying to back up and do this with the controller. And... I go forward when I should go backward, and I turn right when I should turn left. And that's why I usually put the controller down. And it's just because I'm looking backwards. No, the other way. Pull forward a little. Okay, park it. If I want to come through here with another beast, I'll have to clear the way. Just taking one more picture. Stop engine. Close functions, go to map. See the wooden planks? Woohoo! Woohoo! The other Kraz. I want to go down the hill to the railroad station. I ain't even gonna look. Because I know the way. Although, I think we've had enough night time. Let's make it morning again. We're starting a new job. Or a new... We basically finished one day with that delivery. And we're starting a new day now. I got out my sandwich from the cooler and uh, my little package of peanut butter crackers. And my lukewarm bottle of Diet Pepsi because all the ice melted during the day. Got as comfortable as I could sitting in the driver's seat. Ate my dinner. and passed out for a few hours. There's no sleeper on this truck. And I'll tell you, the scenario I just uh, mentioned, I've done that. For real. When I had to stay out overnight, 
in a day cab. This kind of truck with a truck with no sleeper would be considered a day cab because you're not expected to spend the night in it. I know there's a job. Jesus. I know there's a job coming up that needs rolled steel and there's a couple of rolled steel behind me at the production facility. But I have no idea what job it is. And then putting the shit on the truck would prevent me from fully loading all eight spots for the cabin. I spent a night in a blizzard once. Um, it was way up somewhere on uh, Highway 29. Way up northern part of North Dakota. Highway 29 runs north and south. You can look it up on Google Earth. Highway 29 runs north and south from basically the Canadian border. I've taken it all the way into Canada. I used to do deliveries in Canada. Um, this is where we'll have to bring the stuff back. I used to go to Winnipeg and um, pick up these gigantic um, industrial equipment tires like you see the um, um, you see the gigantic front end loaders that work in the mines stuff like that I would pick up those tires from a place in um, Winnipeg. And depending where I was when I needed to go to Winnipeg, I might go up through International Falls, Minnesota, or actually up there is where I got a the other place is the warehouse. Up there is where I gotta drop off the stuff to make the cabins. Um, depending where I started from, I might go up through uh, International Falls, or I might go I might go in on Highway 29 from North Dakota. But I would go in with uh, a load of uh, recyclable paper. I would stop at a plant. I would see that Duluth, Duluth, Minnesota. I would stop at a plant. that collected all sorts of recyclables and they would stuff my trailer full right to the back doors with recyclable paper just floor load it Taken up four spots. Now we'll circle around and get the lumber, I believe. 
Let's see. Given that the lumber's over here now, we don't need to go up that way. We can turn around, go back across the bridge, and run the this road along the shoreline and through the woods. Pick up two lumber here, pick up those two lumber, and then come back to this place, cabin construction site. So we can whip this around. Can I go, if I cut in past the locomotives down, or the, the trailers, can I go around the back of the store and out again? It looks like I can. I know there's a gap between these locomotives or between that loco I keep saying locomotives between that rail car and this little cabin but then I'm going to cut back in through the fence I've done this before going the other way it's just this tree hanging me up Remember I explained the trees don't always work right in 10.0 because the guy hasn't updated his mod since 7.0. There we go. Now I got her dicked. Every time I drive past this trailer I get a new trailer discovered. I've driven past it like six times. I don't mind the points. Shit. The money I get on these jobs means nothing. Because the money resets every time you log in. No matter what you've made, or what you've spent, Um, you always start out with like 999-999-999. And I kind of wish it wasn't that. When I first started this, the first time I played this, before I logged off and logged back on, when you first start this custom scenario, you start with $5,000 and the money adds up like it's supposed to. And I played around with it. I found a couple of vehicles and I started wanting to upgrade them and you know I was running short on money I had to you know I sold something that I didn't really want I think it was a GMC 9500 or something to get a better truck to, you know and I did another job to get some more money uh, you know, a minor task to, to get a, another three or four thousand dollars, and I was having fun with that. And then I logged off, and you know, the next day or a few hours later, or I don't remember what it was, I come back and log in. And all of a sudden, the money is 999-999-999, and there's a death tools menu. Just played like a 
until I logged off and came back. Then the dev, then the money is different, and there's a dev tools menu on the screen. This is brick framing. I want wood framing. I saw the pile of wood there, but I couldn't tell without moving the camera whether the building was brick or wood, so I just looked at the map. I figured it was time that I check the map anyways. Can I get some more speed out of this thing in high? As long as I um, as long as I'm on fairly level ground. No. I think high and fifth gear and auto are about the same thing. Here's my wood framing. Two. I want to take both. I should still have two spots left. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. See how it's flat now? There's no more structure there. This is the part I remember last time thinking that I didn't notice on the map that I had to go out in the water. I don't even have to hug. I was hugging that rock wall like I might sink if I didn't. <laughs> See, I do learn. This time around, I know that. That's a brick. You see, the house is made of brick or the framed structure, half-built framed structure is made of brick. I know I was just ran a lot of time. Like I say, if, if I wasn't recording this, I wouldn't be making a sound. I wouldn't even open my mouth to breathe. That's hanging in the air above the pipeline, above the conveyor, conveyor belt. Odd. More glitches. I saw a YouTube video where a guy was a dude was trying to, he was, um, he was exploring a new mod, and when he went to put it on a trailer, one, it wouldn't pack, but before he even found out that it wouldn't pack, when he drove it up on the trailer, it was hanging in the air. The tires were a foot off the deck of the trailer. I mean, no wonder it wouldn't pack. The trailer's not registering that there's anything on it. I'll set these on top of the... Um, I'd like to set them. I'd like to set them here, 
on the on the step, but they wouldn't pack. The trailer wouldn't register that there's anything there that needs to be packed, and I think that's bullshit. That's usable space. I proved I could put two rolls of steel there. In certain circumstances, I can't see what's on that side, and it's not going to go all the way around. In certain circumstances, this 8 spot could be a 10 spot. Like, you know, rolls of steel. You could easily put 10 rolls of steel on this thing instead of 8. Or 8 units of anything you wanted. And still put like a single unit of lumber or 2 units of steel something on that step. I got the load there. I hauled the load with eight units of. I had four ki I had four concrete slabs, which accounts for eight units because they're two each. It counts for eight positions on the trailer because they're two each. I suppose this won't. I'm going to leave this hang here until I pack the other one. It looks like it's still there. It is. Why didn't it pack it? Because it's on top the... Container? Won't it pack it if it's on top the container? I can't reach back to the... where the lumber is sitting. It didn't take it, it didn't pack it. I might have to unhook and sit next to the trailer. Another unforeseen time wasting crimp in my plans. Why would it not pack just because it's sitting on top of the container? Maybe it's too high. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to do this differently. I need to be. I 
I need to be pointed the other direction anyways. So I'm going to take a left around this big rock in the middle. And then cut across here. And when I get pointed south down here by big framing, I'm going to back the trailer up next to that shit. And then I'm going to drop the trailer and back the truck up alongside that shit where I can actually put it on the rear of the trailer. So I'll, I'll drop the trailer where the lumber is next to the ass end of it. I'm going to have to take down all this forestry to make that corner. And I didn't. I don't even use the outriggers, the anchors, when I use the crane for stuff. I don't even bother putting the outriggers out. One, they're not set up correctly. I'll show you. Watch this. Look at the air gap where there's no anchor. And it's not even doing it that bad this time. On this side, it's doing it on both of them. I tried to reduce. I went in the XML file and I looked at the number for push and it was like 0 0.8 so I made it 0 0.6 and I didn't want to make a big change so this is 0 0.6 instead of 0 0.8 so it's not pushing them out as far but there's still an air gap so I need to work on that setting some more and it's in soft mud if it was on hard ground it would lift the truck clear off its wheels But, that is not a big priority for me to work on how far those anchors push.
Follow it. I got out of that corner where I was restricted by the rock, by the rocks. Now I can. It's hard when the camera keeps changing, you gotta keep fixing it. Can I know I'm not gonna miss that rock? Maybe I can get it to drop over though. Now pull forward. It'd be nice to just, you know, back straight up, but I need to get past the trailer. I need the trailer in the right spot, but I also need to get past it. I think that's perfect. Perfecto. Right on the money. Detach. Now pull f close functions and pull forward. You know, I could have just stopped the video until I had all this shit done and then started again. Because I'm at two hours. But I don't want to. I mean, you guys... You guys could end up in the same type of situation. Getting too close to the trailer. I don't want to be that close. I don't want to be that close. But the ruts in the road and everything. Keep the way the road slants towards the trailer. The truck keeps sliding down against it. But I got it now. I'm good. I'll have these on the trailer momentarily. As I shorten up that boom. Right there. I know it's not pointed the right way, but I, um, I used the other unit to kind of roll this one around 
square. And this one's half under the back of the trailer. Up and upside down, so it's going to be a little bit of a bitch. I've seen it where it uh, lifts the whole trailer, trying to... See, if I let that bump up against there, it should straighten it up. I need a little more of this out of it. I need to extend it a little. Bring it over. Let it wiggle around for a second. And then drop it down. Perfecto! Restore crane. Doesn't say pack load because I'm not hooked up to anything. I remember a time way back when you could not load a trailer that you were not hooked up to. The, uh, the load would drop right through the trailer and sit on the ground like the trailer wasn't there. I'm glad they finally fixed that bug. That was, uh, that was way back. I remember doing shit like that when I was playing, you know, Black River the first time. Now I can go to functions, do unpack and pack, and all eight units will be packed. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. You count the containers as two. And away we go. the shelf of rock under the water Put the mine yeah there we go I was about to say wouldn't mind being able to see where I'm going but I fixed it. <clears throat> I need some of this water over here. I think I mentioned this in the last one of the prior videos. Might have been on Meteor. Might have been on Meteor map even. I don't know how many of you guys watch. If you guys that watch Yukon also watch Meteor. Or you only stick to Yukon. Or the guys that watch Meteor, if they switch over to Yukon. I don't know. But, uh, it might have been on the Yukon map that I mentioned. Uh, this Kraz Chabors is coming out in the console mods when Phase 2 hit. Whenever that is.
Focus Home and Saber are still saying soon. But personally, I think they are getting pretty close. That's just my own opinion. So, you can yell at me if it... if it's still a long time, but... Um, I think they're within a... I think they're within three weeks. Now, it might pop up on Monday. That goes up to here. Right goes across the bridge into that little plant, and to that little plant over there. Yeah, caught a little bit, but it let go and kept going. A little more damage for no apparent reason. You know, I expect it when I'm driving over a big field of rocks like this, but there wasn't anything on the road that I could see. Wow, 154. Hundred and fifty-four to the suspension. Bumping that pole and sixty-six on the fuel tank. I think it was the fuel tank. All right, open storehouse. We got a closed storehouse so I can hit the brake. Now let's open storehouse again. Um, right trigger and left trigger, so we got four wood available. Unload, unload. You know what? There we go, now it's working. Let's go back to storehouse. Two more wood. And then two cargo containers. And then zero cabins in stock. But I can craft cabins now. One, two. So it used up the car, the cargo containers in the wood, and now there's two cabins in stock. And now right trigger to auto load, not manual load. I've had enough of manual load. I tried it out and they can shove it. And there we are. We have our cabins to go deliver. And I can turn around in here if I just get set up correctly in the first place. That's good. Stop there.
use up all the real estate. Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. A wooden crate. A frickin' wooden crate sitting there. Am I gonna clear the stairs? I cleared the stairs. And I don't have to care about the fence. Got it. Gotcha, baby. Now we have to go to cabin one, which is way up the other side of the path. So we got to run all the way across, either through the rail yard or through the swamp road, one or the other. We got to run all the way up to this bridge and then somewhere across the river I'll just, uh, as I'm going out keep an eye out for a place that looks good. And I remember from last time that I probably should have a fork of things, but it works with the crowd too. Maybe when it comes to the live server, that they'll 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 take away I don't know I don't want to call it a cheat, but they'll take away the bug that. allows you to unload them with the crane. Because basically you just allow your winch line on the crane to clip through the roof of the building and it shouldn't be able to do that. The roof of the building should be a hard surface that the winch cable cannot clip through. It's still crooked, but it's going pretty good. You can, the, the wheelbase, the space between the wheels on this Kras, the ass end is off, but the front end's doing it. Um, I think I gotta turn off. Yeah, I gotta go get over on the road. The space between the wheels will sit, the wheels will sit on either side of the tracks. And if you can get it right, this thing will just follow the tracks like a train would. It's the only truck 
I know of. Where the wheels are spaced perfectly apart for it to follow the tracks like that. I almost had it perfect on that one. The rear end was hanging over, but the front end was on. And then you can just hold the throttle open. As far as, as long as the tracks run, you can just hold the throttle open and don't move the steering and it'll follow the tracks oh shit I got damage from something I don't even know what and then that made me hitting whatever made me swerve towards the bridge abutment is this a good place to cross? sure looks like it let's check the map before I do anything else Sure. Why not? Cross the brick framing, and there's a road right there. Well, a trail that takes you back out across the water. Maybe I could shoot for this corner up there and go across the whole thing. If it doesn't get too deep. Looks like it's a rocky bottom all the way across. It might get deep out there in the middle. But if I stay over here... If I stay on the rocks over here until I have to turn towards that road... And you got to be able to drive across there or there wouldn't be a road across it. So here we are. That was pretty easy. Run the trailer over the top of those rocks back there. Can't reel there's there it is. See the trailer rides right over them. Like it's supposed to. But I gotta I gotta stop trying to Steer the truck with the controller from the reverse angle. I need to be looking out front to move the sticks the right way. On the keyboard I can do reverse. I'm looking. I can back up. Looking forward, I know which way to push the buttons. But if I spin the camera around where I'm looking backwards, so I can see where I'm going then it fucks me all up with the controller I'm just saying that's 
what happens with the controller. I start, you know, because you have to change how you're pushing the buttons. You know, it's not left is left and right is right anymore. It's, uh, you know, left is right, right is left. And what I did for 25 years is, you know, I didn't look backwards, I looked in the mirrors, come on, get this in here somewhere that I can, set these off in there, what the fuck is hanging me up on the back, that thing, if I came from if I was coming in from the north, I wouldn't have to cut that corner. Guys, it's gotta be catching me just the ass end. See there, I did that with the controller, but I didn't look backwards. I didn't change the camera view camera angle. Oh, now I'm stuck on that, so right about I'd like to be further away. Right about like that. There. Perfect. See, 25 years I backed up the trailer by looking in the mirrors. I didn't look backwards. I only turned my head far enough to change my view from one mirror to the other. Or I'd stick my head out the window to see where the ass end of the trailer was going. and just move the steering wheel appropriately. V, C, hide, raise, rotate the other way. I like to get my view up here. There we go. You have to be in just the right place. And it will give you a top unloading. Not yet. Try lower, not that low. Mm. When I did this on cabin two, it worked, but that was in patch ten point three.
It looks like they took it out on 10.4. There's no top socket anymore. Bastards. Oh, you know what it is. The, I'm being stupid again. Unpack the fucking cargo. Now it'll give me a top socket. There it is. I saw the straps over it and went, Duh! Unpack the fucking cargo. I don't want the boom real low, I just want the cargo down there. Now I need to see how high and low the cargo is. Turn it. Turn it, turn it. Need to pop it up a little bit. The legs were hitting the foundation. Need to bring it around like this a little bit. Send it in. It's not perfectly straight, but it's in there. I gotta go pee too bad to worry about perfectly straight. <laughs> if you want to know the honest truth. I need to get this done. Get these in there and then I can log off and hit the bathroom or stop the recording at least and hit the bathroom. Can't pause the recording. That kind of it's kind of a bad thing that with I'm using Windows Game Bar. Okay, I was using OBS. I was using OBS when I was streaming. And when I initially started to record instead of stream, I started using OBS again. But I was having sound issues and I was having file size issues. The file sizes were enormous. File sizes were double what I'm getting here. And I had to convert everything from FLV to MP4 before I could do anything with it. I'm 
Here we go. And nothing happened. Last time I did, last time I did this, I got a cutscene, but it's not even on. It's not even on that. Section one anymore. Little map. You know, when I delivered the metal, it said stage complete, but I hadn't delivered the... See, it was on conveyor belt section one. Now it says conveyor belt section one is complete. I know I have dementia, but I'm not completely crazy. At the bottom of the list, just like it has for conveyor belt section 3, at the bottom of the list, it said cabin, cabin zone 1, cabin times 1. Okay, well I delivered two instead of one. But it said it went conveyor belt section one complete before I delivered the cabin. It said complete when I delivered the metal. I don't know. I don't know, folks. But now it's saying... It always defaults to Section 3. And 3 needs a cabin. You know what? This... You know what? This isn't flipping up and down anymore. Maybe doing that job fixed whatever bug was making this flip up and down. Let's see what 2 is. 2 doesn't have a cabin. I'd like to do these in order. Where's 2? Take me to your leader. Two is up here. And it doesn't even take that much stuff. I could stop this one, take a little break. Go pee, sandwich. You know, come back in about an hour and record section two. Four wooden plank, four small pipe, two concrete block. I think I already have two spare concrete block up there. This would be nothing. That's two spaces. The four small pipe is eight spaces. 
So that is one load by itself. And then the four wooden planks and the two concrete blocks is the second load for six bases. Two loads that conveyor section two is done. And then we can move to conveyor section three. We might have to get the metal rolls from Salmon, Big Salmon Peak. I think there is one, there is one concrete slab on this map. But I wouldn't swear to it. I know I can get the bricks here. Probably have to get the metal rolls from Big Salmon Peak. And the cabin is already there. cabin is already there. Alright. Well, sound of the phone ringing means thank you for watching and I will see you next time.